it, I would say that Margaret Atwood, anyway, knowing her on the outside, is very feminist. She's a feminist writer, right? So she would write trying to advance that agenda of getting to equality, right? But a, a way of doing that is to show a world where it's not completely there. So sure, she's showing that, but at least the motivation that Margaret Atwood has in writing it is feminist and she's tried to play around with some of those power dynamics, you could argue at least. Now, what you're saying about the lack of presence of women or females or ro their roles in the novel, that may be reflective of that. But I think a thing I would focus on, because you can only focus on so much in the essay, is that, that crucial point of highlighting the difference between the contexts, which would be not to cer certainly reaffirm the patriarchal value, but to show a, a, a somewhat a, a direction away from it. That's why I'm emphasizing it in that way. It's not to say that she's representing a perfectly... Uh, a, egalitarian or feminist society, it's more that it's going that way. So because directionally we're moving away from patriarchal values, she's trying to spread those feminist ideals by showing the, that absence of control, but she also does reflect a state where women have less of a role in the novel, you could argue. It's just a matter of where you go with that argument for the essay's sake, right? But the key point is that we see a movement from patriarchy through that direct control of knowledge to now an inverted, an inversion of that dynamic where it's Felix psychologically imprisoned, more literally in a sense, by trying to control the imaginative, the imaginary Miranda.